library to uh, to go take photos uh, and take portraits in particular with a very good friend friend of mine and also friends I say friends because I uh, I went along with more than one photographer and yeah and I got to shoot uh, I got to do portraits in the library and it was hella fun of course at the end I'll show you guys the photos that I managed to capture and I also wanted to go briefly through on how I edited this particular photo uh, in the end alright how I came up with the idea and yeah so that's the plan for this video since it was my first time shooting portraits at a library I was to be honest I was kind of nervous because I was afraid uh, I made too much noise uh, we make we make too much noise at the library and the librarian will stop us but surprisingly the library was actually a very Instagrammable place so like I'm guessing a lot of photographers went there and shoot there before so the librarians didn't care much and asked us to proceed despite the fact that uh, my sh my shadow keep on like you know making sound and it was just like I, this is how what happened so I shot them oh my god that is one loud shutter sound alright so yeah so anyways okay let's just go through on how the pictures turn out and why I shoot the way I shoot alright so basically uh, let's just look at the first one okay the first one is quite basic is basically I just asked her to stand in the middle of two library uh, books uh, you know, freak. What is it called? Uh, whatever. Uh, book stands. All right. Uh, owls. Library owls. All right. Then I just uh did a normal uh landscape uh shot. Uh, I just wanted to like put her in the middle, and you can see the sides are quite blue because I I wanted to bring out like the the cool uh area of you know the air conditioning of the the library, which is you know bluish. That's why. You can see like the sides are blue and yeah that's that photo next photo okay this photo i like because uh what i just did was i just uh went with the basics and i did like leading lines so i just followed the leading lines of the book book trails all right uh, so this i let her be at the end and i if you guys can notice it's a bit of one third rule i put her at one third of the picture and I let the books uh, blur out at my foreground and let it guide towards the, my model and yeah, I really like this shot and same thing, I also put my tone curve slightly high up to the blue alright this is portrait, this one I use my 7200 just to create that uh, depth of field at the back but uh, but just the thing, my, I'm still using a kit lens so my 7200 only go to f4.5 so it didn't create that much depth despite the fact that I could like use photoshop to create that depth of field but I ain't gonna cause lazy because this is this right now these are just the basic shots which I'm showing you guys I haven't gone to the the ones I usually that one picture which I created like with my heart and soul alright but anyway let me just check out more just the basics so just basic through the through one bookshelf to, to another book, a book down at the foreground and like create it as a leading lines like there's a the books uh this so basically uh in this photo you can see that i put the uh, uh book and trail towards the model just same a leading line concept so that's that i thought that was fun to do but and, oh yeah i forgot to mention that i also put a light uh, my iPhone uh, flashlight on in on like on her book so that the light will just shine and uh, just create a focus uh like a uh, spotlight for for her right so that anyways let's go down to the main photo of this uh, video and of this uh, photo outing all right which is oh this one yes. I am proud of this shot because I put in so much effort into it. I got made a butterfly concept photo before uh, uh, and 
I like this one better. Oh my god, this one is... I love, I like it. Uh, I like creating... When it comes to portraits, right, I like, I'm like... I got inspired by like people like Miles of Colors and like... Uh, and more, and more uh, like Brandon Waffle, like create all this like surreal portrait photography and like... Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's like hard to believe that it's happened, but... You know it is, it is, it's fake, but it's like... So it's still nice to look at. So, so yeah, that's what I created. So that's that. And yeah, I'll go through how I created this photo or tutorial in the future. But yeah, that's that. So okay, maybe a brief summary of what I did. So basically, uh, the photo at first, show you how it looks like. It looked like this, all right? Then afterwards, I just create added in of course the butterflies and like the the sparks and the sprinkles around the butterflies and at first right you can notice the book it has the word detail on it not butterfly so i i have to change the the title of the book detail to butterfly so that it will make sense more that butterflies are like coming out from her books not just like like, it will be stupid to see like details on the book and freaking butterflies around it. Like, it doesn't make sense. Every... I feel that the thing about serial portrait photo is that... Photography is that... Every... The story... It must link. Everything... Every part of the picture must link. Like, when it comes... Like, the book... I saw basically I'm trying to say that, okay, she's reading a butterfly book. So all these butterflies are coming out. And like, it's very surreal. Yeah, that's why... That's why I went with this concept. And yeah... That's it for uh, today. Yeah, that's it for my f photo adventure. And yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was fun to always be out with like-minded people and just you know go do what I love to do, which is photography. And I hope to do more surreal portrait photo shoot in the future. That's all for today. Please like, subscribe. And yeah, look out for the next video. Bye guys.